Welcome to my tutorial on how to install the Connect for Minecraft. Alright, first thing you're going to need is to get all four of these things downloaded. Of course, most of you guys will have Minecraft, so that's not a real big issue. But the first one you'll need is C Sharp for Windows. It's 2010 Express Edition. You just need to download this and install it. Just run through the installer. It take two to three minutes to install. It should install .NET 4.0, but if it does not, you're going to need to install that too. It's listed also in the post with a link. Right, next thing you'll need is the Connect SDK Beta 2. This works with the Xbox 360 Connect, not the Connect for Windows. So most of everybody has the Xbox 360 Connect, so you won't need to worry about that. Same with this, you're just going to need to install it. Nothing else to do with it, just once you have it installed. Third thing you're going to need is my application inside. And uh, Once you open it up with WinRAR, there will be two things. will be the README, which has all the controls in it, so you don't have to constantly refer to the post should also have the connect with minecraft files so what you're going to need to do is extract both of these to your desktop all right once they're both there what you're going to want to do is of course read the readme it's got a basic install thing that's what i'm kind of doing here too so you won't really need to look at that unless you want to see how to control everything second you need to open up this in here there's a setup you just need to run the setup i already have and it should launch so from here you have all the options here. You can turn on and off stuff, change some of your multipliers, and you can turn on and off the cameras. So once you have all this installed, all you're going to need to do every single time is run this. And then the application will pop up, and every single time, you'll just have everything all set. Uh, you do need to type in each one of these every single time you play, but they should all. One is usually fine. Zero for these, they're just the standards. So. Uh, a lot of questions have been how to get this actually started because it's kind of confusing at first. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to launch Minecraft. Just get it started up. Go into single player, just into your world. What you're going to want to do is you're going to take it, put it in the inventory, make it full screen. Take the application, put it up over here-ish, not in the center. So what will happen is once you stand up and the connect will see you, Go will appear up here. Also, if you have the depth camera on, you'll see your body and it'll change colors. But I'm not going to do that for this tutorial. Alright, so what you're going to want to do, stand up nice and straight, hit start, the mouse will move to the center. All you're going to do then is click on the Minecraft again. And then you can use your hand to control it and whatnot, switch items, spin, look around, turn, get in the inventory.